So, Ting, where are we today? We are in London. Oh, cool, blimey. I didn't realise we'd gone all the way to London, mate. Not that London, Norm. <laughs> we are in London, Ontario. Canada? Yes. And who is the gentleman behind us? Sir Frederick Banting. And he's another notable Canadian person. What, he is. What was his achievement in life? He found insulin. So he did, he was a, a general practitioner, but was also a medical researcher. And one evening had a eureka moment where he woke up and thought there would be a connection between insulin and the treatment of diabetes. Which is absolutely wonderful, isn't it? It is. So we are at Dr. Frederick Banting's house. We are. In London, Ontario. And it's actually called the Banting House Museum as well, isn't it? And it's now a National Historic Site of Canada. Yeah, and that happened in 1997. So here we are in London, Ontario, with Harley Davidson's going by. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to take a tour of Sir Frederick Banting's house, which is now a museum. And this is also the headquarters of the London Diabetes Association. Plus, there's also a wonderful statue here and a globe over there, which we're going to take you around and show you. So and we're really lucky because we've got that blue sky again. Beautiful weather. So come with us on a tour of Sir Frederick Banting's house and garden. So this is the statue of Sir Frederick Banting. Uh, he was born 1891 and uh, died in 1941. Uh, he is a Nobel Prize winner for his part in the discovery of insulin and the treatment of diabetes. And this is his statue uh, at his house in London, Ontario. This is the flame of hope for diabetes and it was uh, dedicated by the Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and on July 1989. Um, it's an eternal flame and the story goes that it'll only be extinguished when there's a cure for diabetes that is found. Until then, this uh, flame of hope burns eternal, day in, day out, at the um, Dr. Banting's house. So this is Dr. Banting's house, which was purchased by the Diabetes Association and has been preserved as a museum. You can visit it and go right through his rooms. It's a beautiful museum. They have a nice statue of him in the grounds. And you can see it's extremely well maintained. Beautiful garden that you can come and enjoy. And it's just a perfect day, Tim. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see just over there, that's the time capsule under there. That's right, that's and over it's here. where the flags are flying behind it. And beautiful benches and gardens. This little walkway leads us up to where there's a time capsule. And this was done for the youth of diabetes. And below here is a time capsule, which is was buried in 1991 and this is the globe in the garden at Sir Frederick Banting's house that has all the countries where the youth have been affected with diabetes and as you can see there are lots of different countries and their names and it's just a nice monument. So this is Sir Frederick Banting's house. It's uh, the window on the bottom left is where his GP consulting's room were, and now it's a museum. It's a national historic site as well, and it's just a marvelous Victorian building where insulin was discovered, and makes it very unique. Another notable Canadian. So this is the front entrance of Dr. Banting's house in London, Ontario. <laughs> so 
So this is the home of insulin, where it was discovered. Just a, a, ni a nice Victorian house in London, Ontario. And here's a various instruments and operating. He, w he was in the First World War as well, and so they have part of his service record here. So I guess this was his, um, Dr. Banting's um, medical office, because he was a GP and he treated patients. That's what he planned to do. But then the research became more important for him for insulin. So this is Dr. Banting's patient consulting room in his house in London, Ontario. Here is some of the memorabilia that you can see from Sir Frederick Banting's home. There's a Christmas card that he sent. And then another plaque and some of his scientific instruments. And the Canadian Diabetes Association bought his house so it would become a National Historic Monument because it is such a famous discovery and has changed the lives of millions of people. So here we are inside his house, it's preserved for the future. Hey Norm, look what I found over here. I found another beautiful mural and do you remember that when we were in St. Thomas we found a, a whole pile of them that were all over the place but this beautiful one over there is actually in the grounds and the gardens um, where we are today just on the outside of um, Banting Museum isn't it beautiful? It is and it illustrates a lot of the words associated with with diabetes. diabetes. There's um, words there like pancreatic and all different diabetes. And but isn't it so beautifully colourful? It's gorgeous and really all the colours up there donate or sort of uh, are online with all the colours in the garden too. established that this is not that London, <laughs> it's the other London. It is. It's London, Ontario, Canada. That's true. And we're here at Sir Frederick Banting's house and this is where he discovered insulin. Which is something that is now helping millions of people all over the world. Yeah, he saved millions of lives along with him and his research uh, assistants. They got the uh, Nobel Prize, but it was on 1920, um, Halloween. Yeah, at two o'clock in the morning. That he woke up <laughs> and he had this feeling that insulin was the key to treating diabetes. And from that idea, uh, he did his research and indeed proved that insulin would be the, the magic to keep people alive and to increase the quality of life. And this is Sir Frederick Banting, a great Canadian. And we're here in London we are. at his house. Yeah, which is now a museum, which you can come and visit the museum and the gardens here. And it really is a beautiful place to visit, isn't it, Norm? It is. And we have a statue of uh, Sir Frederick Banting behind us. Yeah, which you can see. And we don't have to talk in a Cockney accent because <laughs> we're at the other London. Yeah. <laughs> we're in this London, not the other one. That's right. And it's been a beautiful day out and we've been exploring the museum and the gardens. And, and yeah, we saw the time capsule and there's also a beautiful mural over there on the wall. There is. And it's just a very nice place, isn't it? But this is one of those hidden gems that we try and find to bring to you. Do. our YouTube audience and we would like to thank everybody for watching and coming along on our story
very much so. Uh, we were planning to do this to have a slight uh, series of notable Canadians. There's another two that we're thinking about doing. Um, so maybe over the next year we'll get around to doing it. Anyway, we're here in London. It's uh, August, beautiful weather. It's gorgeous. Uh, 